Hi, if you're a woman and you'd like to know how a ketogenic diet affects your blood cholesterol levels, along with the type of cholesterol and the blood fats known as triglycerides, as well as blood sugar and insulin levels, a lot of information, then you've come to the right place because in this content, that's exactly what we'll be discovering based on a study that I'll get into shortly. So let's begin. Learn your body, a science-based education. Now, if you've been with Physionic over the years, you know the deal. The study's linked for you, along with my detailed notes and any necessary follow-up amendments. You also know that this isn't a standalone study, and it likely belongs to a series of studies investigating the impact that low-carbohydrate diets have on cholesterol and blood sugar and everything else. So while I'll be giving you some informative conclusions, especially if you're a woman, I'd recommend you follow along the series of studies to get more science backing your nutrition choices. I'll have them linked for you. But with that, what did the researchers find? Well, the story goes like this. The researchers finished the study with 17 young female participants. All 17 women were placed on a ketogenic diet consisting of only 25 grams of carbohydrates. High fat, 33% of which was saturated fat, and these women consumed that ketogenic diet for four weeks, before which the researchers made measurements of blood cholesterol, sugar, and well, so on. After the four weeks, the participants had their blood measured again for comparison to see if the four weeks of the ketogenic diet had any effect. And the results? Let's begin with cholesterol, where the researchers put their focus. Total cholesterol did increase with the introduction of the ketogenic diet, of which all forms of cholesterol increased, even with mild weight loss. The researchers were also interested in the structural differences in the particles that contain cholesterol. So a particle like LDL or low density lipoprotein comes in different sizes, large and buoyant or small and dense. I'll leave the consequences of each for other content, but both increased with the introduction of the ketogenic diet. So this all means that this ketogenic diet increased blood cholesterol across all types. Yet was that the same story for the other measures, blood sugar and blood fats? No, blood sugar and insulin both decreased, and yet blood fats, known as triglycerides, increased. So some divergent results, I'd say, interestingly. Okay, so why do the results end up the way that they are? Elevated cholesterol, reduced blood sugar, and so on, according to the researchers. Well, they explained the reduced blood sugar and insulin by the simple fact that these women were consuming higher amounts of fat and dramatically lower carbohydrates, which, well, of course, reduces blood concentrations of sugar, a carbohydrate known as glucose. Because although the liver does produce more when blood sugar is low, when stimulated to do so by the hormone glucagon, it may not produce as much as that consumed from our diet. In the same vein, reduced blood sugar means less pancreatic stimulation to release insulin, thereby reducing blood insulin levels. It's also possible the increases in cholesterol are due to increased saturated fat, as mentioned in other content. This may at least be partly explained by changes in cholesterol receptors on the liver. Cholesterol receptors sense the amount of cholesterol in the blood, reducing cholesterol production by the liver. But saturated fat is believed to reduce the amount of these receptors, making the liver less sensitive to cholesterol. Higher cholesterol is correlated with worse cardiovascular, that means heart and artery, health, according to the researchers. And non-HDL cholesterol particles, including LDL and others, is at least equally correlated to cardiovascular health higher non-HDL, lower cardiovascular health. Finally, they mentioned other studies, some of which we have and will cover, check out the links for the content, uh, have shown reductions in triglycerides, blood fats, to a ketogenic diet. But many of these studies were performed in men, not women. So they hypothesize that there may be a sex-specific difference since this study found increases in blood fats, something I'll be exploring as well. However, no explanation for why triglycerides were elevated beyond this point. So in conclusion, if you are a young, healthy woman considering a ketogenic diet high in saturated fat, it may not be advised if you are trying to keep your cholesterol or blood fats on the lower side. However, it would be beneficial for reducing blood sugar and insulin levels. If you feel you have a complete education on the matter, well then thank you for stopping by. And if you'd like a deeper education and greater clarity on which direction a series of studies points, 
consider moving on to my other content, either a series of studies leading to an overall conclusion or the overall final verdict straight away. Both of those are linked for you. Thanks and speak to you then. Bye.